In part two of this video series, I'd like to take a closer look at my recap on Chief Seattle's statement. Now, I like to study everybody who thinks they have a solution or are wise people, and I like to see how they write and how they speak. And if you want to be a better writer and a better speech uh, talker, <laughs> orator, what you want to do is evaluate other people's speeches. Now, this is what I do when I evaluate someone's speeches. Or I do it. I do this to everything. I always color code things so I can go back and I can recap it. Now, what I've done in this particular speech is I had eight recaps. Probably a better, easier way to look at it is listed this way where he pile drive these main points eight times. He said, if we sell you our land, he, he pile drive that nine times. You must teach your children or some variation of that five times. This we know or a variation four times. We are part of the earth or a variation 14 times. All things are connected six. The earth is sacred to my people five times. I am a savage and do not understand. That was really clever. Eight times. And then this is powerful. Whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons of the earth. He only pile dried it twice, but he said it word for word, all ten words. Most of the ones up here, he paraphrased it slightly, or he'd say, instead of you must teach your children, he, goes, he says you teach your children, or teach your children, or something along those lines. Uh, and the interesting thing about if we look at this one very quickly, if we go all the way down, to that section, that would be section 8, let's take a look at it. Teach your children what we have taught our children, that the earth is our mother. Whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons of the earth. If men spit upon the ground, they spit upon themselves. All things are connected. Whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons of the earth. Again, he duplicated it one more time. He piled drived it one sentence in, or two sentences in between. But this is the one that, this is the line that he's most famous for. Man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he does to himself. Now, you notice I have 76 words down there. If we go back up to the very top of my recap, you'll notice that there's 1,294 words in the actual statement. There's two versions. Don't get the one that was made up of it. And then I did the eight recaps with a total of 1,409 words. A lot of sentences I didn't use, but a lot of them I used more than once. Because when he's teaching you something, it's all about knowing that we're a part of everything. And uh, let's take a quick look here. I'll, I'm going to just go through this really quickly. I'm not going to go over them right. Uh, you can just screen save it and read it at your leisure. And I'm just going to try to glance through here. You must teach your children. You notice I color code things a certain way. It is sacred. It is sacred. You can see the color coded of it. And then the third recap, this we know. I love this part. We know that the white man does not understand our ways. Then he has a whole paragraph about what the white man does. And this, he, then he goes, this we know. The earth does not belong to man. The man belongs to the earth. This we know. All things are connected like the blood which unites one family. All things are connected. Whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons of the earth. Man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he does to himself. My friends, that's what it's all about. Number four, we are part of the earth. Again, glance through these. This is the one that made the first one right here. The sap which curses through the trees carries the memory of Red Man. When I read that, I go, man, I, this has been on my mind so much because I'm thinking about where am I going to bury my dog. And I know that wherever I bury her, she's going to come up and I'll be able to see the flowers and the trees that she's going to be made of. So this is what the Indian is saying way back then uh, about the connection that it's our grandfathers. You must teach, look at number eight, you must teach your children that the ground beneath your, their feet is the ashes of our grandfathers. This is what it meant. This is the whole part about this. We are all one. Uh, number five, all things are connected. Uh, again, I'll just glance through this real quick. And then six, the earth is sacred to my people. We've, again, I'll just glance through that real quick. You can, you can screen save it or, or stop it and read it. The seventh cap, recap, I am savage, do not understand. This is clever as heck. Uh, it really is. Uh, I'm a, uh, but perhaps it's because the red man is savage. <laughs> you civilized people, you're, you're the sick people. No doubt, when you live in the city, you're screwed up, man. Moving in the city is a bad thing. I'll go into that in another video. Uh, then the eighth recap, whatever, whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons of the earth. So my friends, it's, you know, we are all one. Um, we come from the environment. The environment is our external metabolism. Whatever we, we do to it, we do to ourselves. We've got to wake up and, and stop doing this. Uh, and it begins by taking a solid food vacation, and all you have to do is go down below in the description box, and when you do, uh, I guarantee you, my friends, you're in